Hi, I'm Steggy from Elgato, and this is Elgato Wave. Today, we launched the Elgato Wave 1 and Wave 3 microphone. These are our first foray into audio for content creation. They're USB condenser microphones that are part of the complete audio package, which I'll get into more in a little bit. But first, let's go over the two microphones. Now, looking at them, you'll see that they look very similar, and on the inside, they have a lot of similarities as well. Both are condenser style microphones that connect to your computer via the included USB-C to USB cable, so they're both plug and play. Both feature a zero latency headphone jack on the back, they both feature an internal pop filter to prevent plosive sounds from distorting your audio, and both microphones feature our ClipGuard technology, which essentially prevents your audio from ever peaking, even when you get heated and your volume gets really loud. They're both either usable on their own with the included desk stand, or you can connect them to a microphone arm. They're also compatible with all of our launch accessories, our anti-vibration shock mount, our external pop filter, and our desktop stand extension rods. Now, you might be asking, do I need an external pop filter if the Wave microphones have an internal pop filter already? Well, while the internal pop filter does allow our Wave microphones to prevent plosives better than most other microphones on the market, the external pop filter improves this performance even further. Be sure to check out our other video on our YouTube channel, which we've linked in the description panel down below, where we demonstrate the external pop filter with Wave microphones. Now, okay, there are a lot of similarities between these two microphones. What about the differences? First up is the dial on the front of the microphones. On the Wave 1, the dial serves two functions. It controls the volume of the headphone output, and if you press the dial in, it'll mute your microphone. Now, with the Wave 3, this is a multi-function dial, allowing you to control your microphone's gain, your headphone output volume, and your microphone PC monitor mix. In other words, the balance between hearing your zero latency mic monitoring and then the audio coming out of your PC. Now you cycle between these different controls by pressing in this dial. But if pressing in the dial changes the dial's function, how do you mute the Wave 3? Well, another difference is that the Wave 3 is equipped with a capacitive mute button found at the top of the microphone. So if you have to mute your stream, you can simply lightly touch the button and you're good to go. This is both helpful in preventing making noise to your stream when you mute your mic, and is also good for creatives who might have their hands full but still want to mute their mic. The last difference is the sample rate each mic supports. The Wave 1 supports up to 48 kHz audio, while Wave 3 can go all the way up to 96 kHz. Okay, now that that's settled, let's tackle the elephant in the room. Now obviously, we aren't the first microphones out there, so what's different about Elgato Wave compared to all the other mics that are already available? Well, in short, our mission with Elgato Wave is to be the complete audio solution for content creators. I like to think of Project Wave as a combination of microphone and an audio mixer all in one. So how is this possible? Well, it's possible through a super powerful Wavelink software. What Wavelink does is it acts as your digital audio mixer and takes in all of your different audio sources, both hardware and software, and allows you to independently control them all in one place via software faders. And you can create two different independent sound mixes from these audio sources, one for your stream and one for what you're listening to. Have you ever monitored your game audio in OBS to listen to your game, and then your chat says that the game audio is too loud? So you lower it, but then you have a tough time hearing your game. Now with Wavelink, you have two separate volume faders, so you can hear your game at the volume you want, and your chat can hear the game at the volume that they want. And our thought process behind Wavelink was, when you look at traditional audio mixers, you have to go through all of this effort to get the different audio sources plugged into the inputs of that mixer to gain that control. And when you have analog audio sources like this, you have to worry about the things like clean power or ground loops and a lot of other annoyances. But when you have a streaming setup in one way or another, all of your audio sources are in your computer, whether it's from USB connections or coming from the computer itself in software. So Wavelink simply is able to grab these different audio sources and allow you to control them all in one simple place. It's a simple concept, but ridiculously useful for streaming. So when you have all of your audio sources added, whenever you need to change the levels, you just use your mouse and then adjust the faders. Or for even easier control, you can use your Elgato Stream Deck to increase or decrease the volume, mute your sources, and more. Our thought here is that a ton of streamers are already using Stream Deck to control every other aspect of their stream, so enabling Stream Deck to control your audio through Wavelink truly makes it your one-stop shop for control. And when everything's available to be controlled in one place, it just makes things incredibly easy. 
So in short, this is why we think Elgato Wave is the complete audio package, and we hope you do too. Be sure to check out some of the other videos we've made covering both Wave microphones and our Wavelink software. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below, and don't forget to get subscribed so you can catch the rest of our videos and tutorials to learn how to unlock the full power of your Elgato products. Once again, I'm Steggy from Elgato, and until our next video, good luck and have fun.